Hello, hello guys, welcome back. This is my reaction for Death Note episode 18 and it's called Ally. Uh, last episode was both confusing, amazing and uh, awesome, like <laughs> it had everything, right? It was super cool and I, I was on the edge of my seat. Um, it started out with us seeing Rem giving Misa's death note to some businessman um, and uh, we didn't see how he looked, we only saw him grin when uh, Rem told him that someone in your position would call this good business. Um, so uh, the, only, the only condition there was for him to use the death note was that he had to keep killing uh, criminals, right? And he could use the death note however he wanted after that. Uh, and this makes the illusion of Kira still being out there, which is what lights uh, or Kira wants, right? Um, we then cut to Light and, you know, he's still locked up, but the police had a little bit of fight among themselves, right? And Il agrees to let uh, them out. Uh, but before that he talked with Light's father and of course we have the whole car and pistol uh, scene, right? And um, uh, I was really sitting there thinking like in the beginning like, no, no, this is nothing like L. He would never do that unless he had hard evidence, right? And Light even says it himself, right? That uh, he should have some kind of ev evidence to prove that he is actually Kira. That is how L operates, right? But it suddenly changed and, you know, we actually think or I made to believe that his father killed them both, right? Um, but of course it was blank and Light and Misa is like brought back to headquarters where they are released. Kinda, right? Because Misa will stay there under constant surveillance because Elle is pretty uh, sure that she had something to do with it and Light has to be handcuffed <laughs> to Elle at all times uh, simply because he still is not convinced that he is not Kira, right? And um, they both agreed to this since they kind of was set free, right? Um, and then uh, in the end we see like these eight businessmen uh, sitting in this firm uh, about to plan who they are going to kill next. And uh, they among themselves uh, come to the agreement that Kira must be one of them because why else would Kira like start to back uh, you know, this company, right? Um, so I'm guessing the whole thing or the whole shift in this show now is that we need to figure out who this uh, new Kira is, right? So it's going to be very awesome. I, I think it's a good new pace for uh, Don't get me wrong, I still love every second of what it was before, but this is going to be really awesome, I think. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Misa and Light without the book. Um, uh, they, they, you know, their personality is different now, right? So it's going to be cool. Um, and yeah, I guess that was about it, what happened last episode. So guys, uh, before we get into it, uh, if you haven't seen, you can now become a member of my channel, so please check that out. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, you can even hit the bell, and don't miss out on anything I do. Even leave a like. You know I appreciate it. Let's go! Here we go guys, episode 18 called Ally. Let's see what is going to happen. This is very interesting because now Light is not Kira anymore, right? So... Very high tech. <laughs> so what is this just to get inside the new headquarters they made? like this system is gonna take some getting used to. Fine. How's this, huh? Well, it worked. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, they're on a date. Last we checked, all of them were up in Misa Misa's room. Ah, uh, so they have like surveillance for every surveillance single floor? Cameras, huh? Well, since we know Misa has some connection to the second Kira, I guess it does make sense. But for God's sake, Matsuda, would you stop with this Misa Misa crap? Uh, yeah, sure. Man, this is got to be the worst I've ever been on. No, 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 please, just pretend I'm not even here, okay? By the way, are you gonna eat that piece of cake? 
Cake makes you fat. I'm not going to eat any. Actually, I found that you don't gain any weight as long as you burn calories by using your brain. Hmm, so now you're calling me stupid? Fine <laughs> then, I'll give you the piece of cake as long as you agree to leave me and Light alone. Even if I leave you two alone, I'm still going to be watching on surveillance cameras. So I don't even think difference. Light cares. Pervert, could you stop it with your creepy hobby? You can call me whatever you like. Last chance for cake. Okay then, I'll just close the curtains and turn off the lights. We have infrared cameras in here as well. Mm. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I thought moving here was supposed to help us catch Kida, but since we've been here, you don't seem all that motivated to me. Not motivated? Hmm. You're right. Actually, I'm depressed. Really? Depressed? What for? Well, maybe because you believed that they were Kira, right? Really, all this time I thought that you were Kira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire case hinged on that fact. I guess I just can't get past the fact that my deduction was wrong. Although having said that, I'm still suspicious of you. That's why we're wearing these. Yeah, and as I talked about, right? know that Kira can control people's actions. Which means it's highly likely that Kira was controlling your actions so that I would suspect you. If I assume both you and Misa were being controlled by him, then everything we've observed so far makes a lot more sense to me. Hmm. If that's what you think, Misa and I were both Kira during the time that we were being controlled, right? Yes, I don't think I could have been wrong about that. The two of you are Kira. Okay, so he is like hmm. more or less falling for the, if you know, not knowing that they were Kira, right? When the confinement began, you were Kira. I don't believe it's coincidence that as soon as you were imprisoned, all the killing was stopped. Until then, everything pointed to you being Kira. But after two weeks, criminals actually began dying again. Based on that evidence, I can only conclude that Kira's power passes between people. That's an interesting idea. But if it's true, it'll be nearly impossible for us to catch Kira. Yes, that's why I'm overwhelmed. Even if okay, so you actually feel overwhelmed control, from it. They'll likely lose their powers and any memory of their crimes. So in the end, pursuing them becomes futile. Oh, he actually but figured that out, maybe. No way like... of knowing if that's the case. Cheer up, would you? Cheer up? No, I'm sorry, I can't. It's probably better if I just stop trying so hard. <sighs> this is not like ill at all. This is really annoyed that he didn't catch nothing. Kira the yes. first time, right? It's just a waste of time. Ryuzaki. Huh? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, I know that really hurt. That's enough. You don't feel like doing anything just because your genius deduction was wrong, and I'm not Kira. <sighs> Fine, perhaps I phrased it the wrong way. I meant it would be pointless for us to make a move, so we shouldn't even bother. If we don't chase Kira, he'll never be caught. Is that what you want? If you were just gonna give up, then why did you involve all those innocent people? And more importantly, what was the point of putting Misa and me behind bars? I understand. True, true, uh, yeah. But still, whatever the reason. Oh! <laughs> Slap! An eye for an eye, my friend. He's actually pretty good with his legs. I can say that Light Yagami is Kira, and Misa Amane is the second Kira, but it won't be enough to solve the case, and that's why I'm a little depressed. The, actually, I'm gonna so pause, easy. I'm gonna pause, because, like, what he's saying here is, right, that that's what I'm, what I talked about last time, like, that the L we know, right, he always needs, like, proof to, to show that someone is guilty, right, and he cannot show how they are killing people, so... You know the, the case is not solved and now that the memories or like power has passed on it's even harder for him to do anything right so this is actually a, a brilliant move from from light side right um even though he don't know about what is going on right now right but i mean if he was still kira he would be laughing hysterically i think because ill is just like you know unmotivated he, he don't know what to do anymore right so yeah let's see what happens Yes. Yes, it is. Besides, you should hear yourself. It's as if you won't be satisfied unless I am Kira. 
I, I won't be satisfied unless you're Kira. Well, there may be some truth to that. In fact, now that you mention it, you're right. I think I wanted you to be Kira. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with these two right now? I'm a lot stronger than I look, you know. Yeah, yeah he, he really keeps using his legs. Yeah. Huh? Yes? Ryuzaki, I've got good news! Misa Misa's number one in 18 Magazine's reader popularity poll! Oh, I see. I'm pretty sure he doesn't care. What was that? Matsuda's acting stupid again. <laughs> acting stupid. <laughs> I can hear you, you know. Two months later, okay. Take a close look at this. It can't be coincidence. Mm -hmm. All of them were prominent Japanese businessmen, CEOs whose companies are leaders now in stuff is happening. industries. In just over a month, they all died of heart attacks. As expected, there's been a general downturn in the market, with the exception of Yotsuba. Yotsuba. In other words, their deaths have worked in Yotsuba's favor. Looking back, there have been 13 similar deaths in the past three months. Your thoughts? Based on this, I can only conclude that Kira is supporting Yotsuba. Wow, okay, I've got to stop. This new Kira literally just got found, right? Like, they, they now know where to look. And it's actually Light that did it. That's pretty insane. Like, I mean, uh, just put some little bit research, right? But of course, they needed some time to be able to see this since the, the stock had to go up, right? Crazy. But if what you're saying is true, we can assume that punishing criminals is not this Kira's real intent. Right. Punishing criminals is a diversion for him. It obscures the fact that he's actually killing people for the benefit of his company. Hmm. hmm. Are you feeling a bit more motivated now? The borrower of the death node will not be followed by a god of death. The god of death always remains with the owner of the death node. Also, the borrower cannot trade the eyesight of the god of death. Okay, so there's limit to like borrowing out the, the death node. When the owner of the death node dies while the note is being lent, its ownership will be transferred to the person who is holding it at that time. Okay, so yeah, uh, for example, even like when Misa lended it to Light, if she died, it would automatically just go to Light, right? It's funny, this is starting Yutsuba. to feel too easy. Look at all we've done and no one suspects a thing. Our stock continues to increase, but we've kept it below the radar. Indeed. True. However, there is one thing that has me concerned. Those three we had killed last week. Why did all of them die of heart attacks? I thought we agreed one would be accidental. You're quite right. We did. The problem was that we named a specific location in Japan. You see, he wasn't even here when he died. I hear he and his mistress were in Italy at the time. Makes sense. If our ah, okay, I'm physically... gonna pause. Like, so, so yeah, they here they actually just figured out what light found out like in the one of the earlier episode right that if it's un impossible that the character will, or a person will just die by a heart attack right um and apparently as they said he, he was not even in japan at the time be impossible then kira will kill that person using his default method a heart attack anyway given kira's history the police are probably still focused on the dying criminals quite frankly if someone was able to trace the deaths of these people back to us then he'd have to be a god. Besides, we've taken... So Light is a god. <laughs> we just spoke with the director, and it seems Kira has offered bribes to a number of politicians. Oh? Kira made an offer. As long as the NPA agrees not to pursue him anymore, he won't lay a hand on any politicians. Oh, those swines so would probably that. take that the deal, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mogi and I have already made up our minds on this. Aizua, Matsuda, if you wish to continue working this case, you'll have to hand in your letter of resignation to the MPA, just as Mogi and I are going to oh, do. Oh, insane! They have to—they have to like quit. Or not, you cannot because they're not allowed to pursue Kira anymore. anymore. Well, hold, hold on a second, Chief. They made it quite clear: if you continue to work with L, you'll be fired. That's all there is to it. So then, Chief, you're gonna shit. In a few hours, so people are just giving up, like, like that kind of means the cure However, one, right? 
We all have our own lives, so think it over carefully. That's true, Chief. Especially if you've got a family to support. Oh yeah, this guy had that. If you want my opinion, you'd be better off as police officers. Mm -hmm. I was alone when I started this case, and although I'm grateful to all of you for staying with me as long as you have, I know that I can do this by myself. I'll be sure to visit you at the department and bring you Kira's head as a reward for all that you've sacrificed. Ryuzaki, as long as I'm alive, you won't be working alone. You have my word. Well, you, you have to, since you're handcuffed. That's right. And I'll have Light working with me until I catch Kira. But when you first contacted us, you said that you would need the help of the police in order to solve this case. That's because the police as an organization were still hoping to arrest Kira. They weren't bowing to him. Besides, yeah, with all due bowing respect, to him now, right? between the help of two or three civilians and the police as an organization. Um, as you said, the police have made their position clear. They don't want to catch Kira, so let's just leave it at that. Mm. However, we're all personally involved in this. All of us have risked our lives to catch Kira. Doesn't that give us the right to decide whether we stay here or return to the police force? Mm, uh, good point. Then by all means, please make your decision. But hmm. Chief, wait. If you quit your job with the police force, you'll be unemployed. Even if we do catch Kira, what are you going to do after that? Oh. After that? I hadn't really thought of it, but I suppose after we catch Kira... Don't you Kira, think they, they would be able to go back, right? I mean, if the I'll threat of Kira... i off my resume. Like, if Kira is dead, in. you know... I'm going to quit the police and chase Kira too, you know, Chief! He will be able to and go I back, right? I still have my job as Misa Misa's manager. Besides, if I stayed on as a police officer, I'd feel like a total loser. Think before you open your mouth, Matsuda. Yeah, I'm guessing this is, it's a hard choice for this guy, right? Because he has a family to provide for. Is there any way I could still keep my job and help you in my spare time? <sighs> there isn't. If you remain a police officer, then please don't come back here. But you know I won't leak any information. I won't be sharing any of our information. <sighs> it's as Ryuzaki says. No one here is going to blame you for quitting. Yeah, right. We all understand why you've got to do uh, this. Ah, shit. But the chief has a family too. Our situations are completely different. I said I was prepared to die if that's what it took to catch him, and I meant it. <laughs> what kind of friend would I be to Ukita if I quit now? I became a detective so oh, I could the, the guy the that uh, Misa killed right in front of the station. Uh, TV station. Ryuzaki, early on in the investigation, you specifically told me that if a task force member were to lose their job under any circumstances, I should make preparations to ensure that their family's financial future was secure. If you recall, a trust oh, there you go. For that there you very go. Purpose. I'm a little curious as to why you're withholding this information. <gasps> this is not the time or place, Watari. I'm sorry. No way. So all this time we had nothing to worry about? I can't believe you did that. There you go, Aizawa. Isn't that great news? Huh? Ryuzaki. I assume that was some kind of test to determine how committed I was ah, to this Ah, I task get it. Force. Yeah, I get it. It's not like that, Aizawa. Ryuzaki's just not the type to say things directly. You should know that by now. Yeah, that's right. No. Uh, I was it, testing you. Yeah, it was a test. I yeah, to, to see if you would, like, go the last part, right? Uh, Ryuzaki. But it, it is kind of a little bit unfair choice, if I right? I wasn't sure before, I am now. But Aizawa... <sighs> Let's face it. I wasn't able to decide right away like you guys. I was leaning towards going back to the police. Come on, Aizawa. Don't be so stubborn. No, I quit. Now I know this for sure. I've always hated Ryuzaki. I hate him and his way of doing things. That's too bad. Because I like you, Aizawa. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I also hate the way you've always got to have the last word. You insult me, now you say something like that? That's it. I'm out of here. Thank you for everything. Wow. Shit, so okay, so they lost a member there. I just found another one. A general manager of a bank, Yotsuba's biggest competitor. On September 7th, he slipped and fell on the front steps of his house and died. Instantly. September the 7th was a Friday, wasn't it? Hmm? After going over this again, I noticed something. All the deaths which are beneficial to Yotsuba are concentrated around the weekends. Huh? Hmm. On the weekends? So they're kind of like the doing the mistakes that Light did in the beginning, right? Appears to have been random. More recently, they all take place between Friday night and Saturday afternoon. 
I'm amazed that you even noticed that, Chief. But they also figured out that they are doing accidental. I'm sorry, but you'll always be the chief to me. This is a really important clue, Dad. Nice work. Well, you know, I can't let myself fall behind you and Ryozaki. After all, the last thing I want is to be dead weight. Oh, dead weight? Is <laughs> Does this guy feel like dead weight? Or is Kira simply using Yotsuba? I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll proceed under the assumption that this is Kira's doing. We will focus on Yotsuba. <clears throat> this is all of the Yotsuba group's employees. Here. Thank you very much. That's 300,000 people. How did he put this together so quickly? That's amazing, Mogi. He's been incredibly efficient from the start. Ryuzaki, please tell me, is there anything I can do to help with the investigation besides the manager thing? So you really want to be useful? Yes. Then could you get me another cup of coffee? <laughs> and for our guests over there. <laughs> Shit. Huh? Oh, they have guests. Who are they? Hold on a sec. Who let them in? Those two are the newest members of the task force. Oh. The name's Iber. I'm a con man. How's it going? Iber. I'm Weddy, and mm. I'm a thief by trade. And Weddy. Uh, thief con and con man. And a thief. Uh. That's right. Iber is a lifelong con man. His unparalleled social skills allow him to befriend and gain the trust of any target. We'll use him for infiltration. As for Weddy, she's a thief who specializes in cracking high-end security systems. As proof of that, she was able to enter the building without setting off a single alarm. Oh, crazy, actually. You expect us to work with criminals? Yes, that is correct. However, these two have never once been caught, so it's unlikely they'll be killed by Kira. Think of them as professionals of the underworld. I understand. To investigate Yotsuba, we're gonna need the help of people like this. Let's all do our part and make this happen, okay? Yeah. 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 Mm, the chief is not so sure about it, right? But I mean, I guess they're gonna need people like that, right? Huh? Daddy? Huh? <laughs> Daddy! Uh, Yumi. Eriko. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work right now? You need to tell me if you're planning to be home for dinner. I just went shopping and I only bought for me and Yumi. You can eat my dinner and I'll have dessert instead. Sorry. It was sort of a last minute decision, but they just gave me some time off. Huh? Is it time off a vacation, Daddy? Yeah, that's right. Yippee! From now on, I can have a break every single week. Now I can go with you to the park. Maybe we can go to the zoo together. And I'm thinking like this is taking harder on him. Yeah, harder on him than you know, than it looked, right? You know, it's it it's his whole thing that he wanted to catch Hero also, right? But now he kind of cannot, right? So guys, that was episode 18 called Ally, and um, this episode starts with Light uh, and Misa being on this date, and of course uh, Elle is there because they are handcuffed together. Um, Elle is actually pretty depressed that his deduction about uh, Elle and what Elle, Light and Misa was wrong, right? Um, and he, he concludes by this that the power of Kira can pass through people or like between people, right? And he is, you know, he's on to something, right? Like he doesn't know it's an, a notebook, but uh, he now figured out that, you know, it can move through people because um, they, they change. They don't know about it anymore, right? So he's, he's depressed and down there, right? Um, first frustrated by this uh, L or I mean, Light uh, simply, you know, punches him in the face for giving up, right? And uh, this is super funny and they L fights back, right? And um, they are having this argument and it's stopped by Matsura like calling and talking about Misa, right? <laughs> um, and uh, what else? Yeah, later that, uh, later Light goes over uh, the recent Kira killings, right? And now it's starting to get interesting because uh, he noticed that the killings uh, is like connected to some big CEOs of the companies, right? And um, this makes it look very suspicious because, you know, the Yutsuba stock is going up very, you know, 
a lot, right? And um, Light thinks by this that you know Kira is supporting Yotsuba, and he tells uh, L, and L seems a little bit more motivated now that they have like a new lead or something, right? Um, after this, like uh, Light's father and Moki enters the room, right? And they have some bad news because they kinda have to leave the police force if they have if, if they want to keep uh, working with L and that's because um, this new Kira apparently bribed some high political uh, people right and uh, they are simply just bowing down to Kira and saying okay uh, we will just leave him alone because L is not getting anywhere apparently right that's that's my thought about it um, and uh, this makes all the police guys have to you know, make a decision, do they want to quit or do they want to keep going as a police officer? And if, if they keep going as a police officer, we saw they cannot they cannot work with L anymore, right? Because L will not share them any information and you know they are not allowed to do that. Um, and this is actually pretty easy for the, the Light's father or the chief, right? And Mogi, but um, you know, Aizawa has a pretty hard time choosing this because he has a family to uh, support and you know uh, I, I, I can see his whole like struggle to choose this right uh, it, it would be hard Matsuda on the other hand just chooses like oh let me drop it right it's no problem but for him it's very hard and uh, at this point Vatsuri actually calls and he tells them about this fund that uh, Il actually made that Will, you know pay them if they ever lose their job but uh, it was a little bit too fast of him to say this because uh, L was actually testing their motivation again um, and uh, since I saw was not fast enough to say that he wanted to still do it uh, he, you know he gets angry and uh, leaves right even though L actually says that he liked him that he wanted uh, you know that he still wanted to work with him, but you know it's it's a problem now because Aizawa is um, a proud guy, right? Like so, he, he left. Um, so we are down a member now, but I'm I'm guessing that uh, we can make can make do, right? Um, and then what? Oh yeah, later Light's father actually uh, digs up some very interesting information, and he finds out that. Uh, that the killings that the Yotsuba group are doing are centered around the weekends or especially the Friday and Saturdays, right? And uh, they all like kind of like, you know, start looking at Yotsuba uh, together and um, it'll present us with some new characters or new members, right? Since Aizawa had to leave and uh, it's it's a guy called Iber and Weddy, right? I think they were called. And apparently they are like, they are like, you know, never been caught in being criminals, right? But I, I'm, I, it's a little bit confusing because L know about them, right? So I would guess that he came in contact with them at some point. Anyway, uh, this Iber guy is apparently a, a really good con man. And the uh, girl is like a, uh, like a, security girl right she can like get around like a lot of uh, alarms and systems like that and she proved it by getting them inside the building without setting off a single alarm right so uh, it's going to be cool to see how these uh, new people will fit into the team and uh, they are actually criminals right so uh, at first uh, I think it was Light's father that said like why we need to work with these people right but uh, I think they may be needed to, to get further into this, right? Because they are not allowed to have any official people uh, working for them anymore, right? So, And then the episode ends with us seeing Aizawa again, sitting in the park, um, and his family coming there and being confused why he's there, and uh, he breaks down crying, right? Because it, it was a hard decision for him. Uh, maybe he will uh, show up later again, but uh, it looks like he's out of it for now. Anyway guys, uh, that was the episode, um, not super a lot of stuff happened, but it was still a cool episode uh, and I'm guessing that now that we know that it's Yutsuba group, that we will start to dig a little bit more into uh, who is this Kira, right? And that is going to be really interesting, I think. So guys, um, that's it for me, thank you for watching, uh, thank you for listening to me and uh, I guess I'll see you next episode, peace!